Hello everyone. Welcome to C Academy YouTube channel. My name is Veleleni Nkosi. In today's lesson, I'll be working on a previous question paper of life science which was written in November 2021. So, uh, the question paper is from the Department of Basic Education. It was written in November 2021. It's for life science. Uh, I'll be focusing on DNA, the code of life. So DNA, the code of life, falls under paper two. So here is the question paper. Uh, the question paper goes like this. This is for DNA, the code of life. And I'll be giving the possible answers for these questions. And I will show you the memorandum at the end of the of this video. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. The question goes like this. The diagram below represent part of a DNA molecule. So this is part of the DNA molecule. What we are told is uh, this is the strand 1 and the strand 2. So we know that DNA is made up of two strands. So here is the strand and then in, in between there is a bond. So before I go to the question, uh, let me uh, give a label for part. So the bond that is in between the strand, it's a hydrogen bond. So W is a hydrogen bond. And then X is a nitrogenous base. So this is a nitrogenous base. While Y, it's a, because this is a DNA, the sugar molecules of DNA, it's a deoxyribose. So this is the deoxyribose. And then Z, it's a phosphate group. This is a, a phosphate. These are the labels for, for these parts that are shown in the, in the diagram. Uh, we have the strand one and the strand two. So let's get to the questions. Uh, question number one. Uh, say 4.1.1a say identify molecule x so molecule x is a nitrogenous base so and number a i will write nitrogenous base and then number b say identify the sugar at y so sugar at y is a deoxyribose sugar say the oxyribose sugar uh, that this is the sugar that is found on a dna molecule and in rna contain ribose sugar while dna contains the oxyribose and then question number c uh, 4.1.1 c say identify the bond uh, in w so the bond is called hydrogen bond so it's a hydrogen bond or a weak hydrogen bond someone can say so the reason why it's called weak hydrogen bond is because this bond, like the bond between uh, the sugar and the nitrogenous base is very strong, is stronger than the hydrogen bond. So that's why we say it's a weak hydrogen bond. Also the bond between a phosphate group and the sugar molecule is also strong. It's unbreakable. So this one is breakable. That is why we say it's a weak hydrogen bond. Well, during DNA replication, this bond is break and then the strands are separated. So that is why we say it's a weak hydrogen bond. Then these are the labels. Number A is a nitrogenous base. Number B is a deoxyribose sugar. While number C is a hydrogen bond. Then let's get to the next question. The next question, 4.1.2 say, give the collective name of the part x y z so here we have x y z uh, the, let me sh let me highlight the part that uh, they are talking about is this part here so this is the part that the question is asking for its collective name so the collective name of this part is called uh, nucleotides so uh, nucleotides
So a nucleotide, it's a building block of uh, DNA and RNA. So DNA is built of nucleotides. When a nucleotide, they are packed together, uh, we end up having a DNA. So that is why they say a nucleotide is a building block or it's a monomer. If we combine more nucleotides, we end up with a nucleic acid or a nucleic acid we talk about dna or rna so so nucleotide it's a building block of nucleic acids let's go to the, another question the another question say state the net the natural shape of the dna molecule so by natural shape of a dna molecule we know that a uh, dna is double helix that's the answer I just say dna say four point one point three so dna is double double helix by double helix we mean a uh, one strand is like a helical strand and then another strand is also a helical like this one so that is why we say dna is double helix so that is the natural shape of a dna dna spend most of its time in this shape so that is why uh, we say it's a natural shape of dna is double helix then Next question say, name the process where DNA makes a copy of itself. So we're supposed to have a copy here. So name the process where DNA makes copy of itself. So that process is called DNA replication. So number 4.1.4 is called DNA. It's called DNA replications. So this is the, the process where DNA may copy of itself. And then go into the next question. Uh, the next question say, name two places in an animal cell where DNA is located. So here we are talking about an animal cell. So we know that animal cells do not have a chloroplast. So the DNA in a, in a animal cells is found in a number one, is found in a nucleus and then another part it's, it's found in a mitochondria so that is where that is the only places where we can find dna so we can write chloroplast because uh, animal cells do not have a chloroplast chloroplast is found only on plant cell so we can write chloroplast if you write chloroplast then you will get it wrong because chloroplast is only found in a plant cell. So this is the answer. And then for anyone who wants to see the memorandum, so this is the, the memorandum. So if you want to see how they mark, so one mark, here they mark for nitrogenous base, the oxyribose, hydrogen, nucleotides, double helix, DNA replication, a nucleus, if you don't want to write the nucleus, you can say chromosome or chromatids, chromatin, nucleoplasm. So these are the possible answer. They are both correct. And then another part is mitochondria. So I hope everything is clear. So if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless you.